it gives the fans a break too. You know, maybe more people will buy season tickets. Maybe more people, you know, will go to games, you know, because it's stretched out, you know. I'm just saying, I like everything that they've done, you know, on here. And now, at least at this point, the players can't be complaining about it. They have to at least try it, see how it works out, test it out, and and, and play in these games. So I don't want to see any players resting. I don't want to see anybody sitting down talking about eating a hot dog or something like that, talking about, I got to, you know, save myself. You know, now there will be exceptions, of course. We know this. But I don't want to see, you know, like Nick Young sitting out because I, I got a rest or anything like that. You know, you spoke your piece, the NBA listened, and now they seem to have a good, you know, good thing going. So uh slogo said the nba addressed this game quality issues big ups to them yeah exactly big ups to them you know for for actually you know taking the time and, and let's let's be easy i mean let's be serious it's not easy scheduling out a 82 game uh uh season among 30 teams i mean you got other stuff that's going on other events that's being happen that's happening in those venues you know it's not just nba games so the nba again i will give them credit where credit is due they did a good job uh moko bell said the nba adjusting the schedule and i guarantee lebron gonna sit out <laughs> book it that's what moko bella said Mocha Bella, that's why I said they're going to make an exception. I still think LeBron will probably sit out a game or two or something like that. Um, but, again, with LeBron, I get it. Um, I don't want to let him off the hook, but he's the only person that has played the most games in the past seven, eight years. He really needs that. He's not, you know – having early exits out of the playoffs or not making the playoffs and everything, and then playing in Olympic games, you know, and all that stuff. So that's why I'm saying he's a little bit of an exception to the rule. And the reason I say a little bit of an exception, because I still think if you're in a town where they only come to that town once for the year, you need to play that game. You need to rest at a home game. You know, where your fans is going to see you 41 times. So if you just want them to see you 39 times, I think that's cool. You know, it's just on the road. That's that's my biggest thing. On the road, you know. Uh, Rough Buff, oh my God. Ruff, get in there, Big L. Rough Buff said, I'm really from Milwaukee, not from Chi-Town. Hashtag things Big L say. Big L, get in there. I haven't seen anything. Maybe I missed it. Retype it. Put something in there, man. Rough Buff is killing you. I'm about to throw in a towel, man. Big L, get in there. Goodness. Big L comes back with the NBA. is a player's league, unlike the NFL. So Big L's least keeping on the topic. So, yes, the NBA is a player's league, unlike the NFL. And the NFL is about the shield. We already know that because they don't want you showing your face, you know, for the most part, unless you're a quarterback. So being a player's league, that does help out. Uh, Tiffany Penn, Pete Comptroller, in Enville. She said, rough, this borderline bullying. <laughs> Laugh out loud. In, hashtag endless ins- insults. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it again. Rough, this borderline bullying. Laugh out loud. Hashtag endless insults. So, yes, Tiffany, you're exactly right. He is killing Big L right now. I don't know what happened today. But whatever it is, he is killing Big L right now. Big L said, PMP, I don't go back with the foolishness. So Big L maybe has found peace. I don't know. So, But NBA, I, I'm looking forward to this season uh, with all the changes that's been going on with the teams and free agency, you know, with the Warriors, you do it again and all that stuff. But with this schedule, I think it makes it even better because people be willing to watch more games, you know, that's, that's spread out a little bit more as well. I told you. Impact on the fan and it's a player league, just like uh, Big L said. So we're going to take a break for a second and then we're going to come back uh, after the break. And then we'll talk a little bit about this this comment that an NFL coach, head coach, said with this whole Colin Kaepernick thing. So 
Give us a break. Give us a second. We'll be right back. Hey, what's up, sports fans? You're looking for a different type of sports talk show, something you haven't heard before. You got to check out the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday on 2 Live Stews Radio, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Sports talk at its finest. Always have great guests playing some good hip-hop. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to tune in to the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Hey, what's up, everybody? Vince Wright, the sports governor from the great state of Minnesota. Join the rest of us sports zombies on 2 Live Stews Radio. That's right, the boys are back. Doug, Ryan, and the rest of us, including me, the sports governor of Minnesota, Vince Wright, also known to the ladies as the Big Smooth. Keep it tuned here. That's right. Two live stews radio. We don't take orders from super fools. We give them. Exco, give it to you. Any and all resistance will crumble. Nonsense. There's never been a threat. Squad. Couldn't handle. It is the purpose of the nurse squad to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us the rulers of the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hear me and hear me good. If you like sports, then you like the Wait a Minute show. If you like comedy then you like the wait a minute show if you like a different opinion coming from a different angle then you like the wait a minute show so join me saturday 8 p.m eastern standard time with your host jelani jb Bodie, and of course my man lopan on the wait a minute show.com ain't that right lopan Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and you are listening to It's the Wait a Minute Show. Your man Jelani JB Bodie and my co-host Low Pan. Indeed. And we are here on the Two Live Stews Radio Network talking about this sports talk as we normally do on Hump Night. So I'm tucking you in with this sports talk. Uh and before we went to break, uh, I was talking about, you know, an NFL head coach that was in the news for making a, a comment, you know, that's related to the whole Colin Kaepernick thing and, and you know, protest to the anthem and everything. So uh, Cleveland Browns head coach Hugh Jackson, you know, is uh, in the news. And, and basically they're they're talking about that Hugh doesn't want his players to protect protest the anthem, you know, because guys like, you know, Malcolm Jenkins uh, have protested it. Uh, Michael Bennett has recently just said that he's going to start, you know, sitting. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, you know, he said he'd been doing it for a long time. You know, he just I think Marshawn is just a little bit different, though. I think Marshawn just sitting, you know, uh, I'm sure, you know, he probably have a reason to too. He's Marshawn is just a different person, but you know, you got guys who are sitting out. So none of them have been on the Cleveland Browns, you know, team. So, uh, he's, he was in the news basically talking about, you know, and this is, this is what he said, you know, uh, he said, I think everybody has a right to do, and I get it, but the national anthem means a lot to myself personally, the organization and our football team, you know, and he said, I hope again, I can't speak haven't really talked to our team about it i will hope that we don't have those issues um so his comments that that he made you know has kind of put him in the you know the heat or the fire you know with folks uh shannon sharp was out there basically shannon sharp almost blew his top because i mean he really almost came out of pocket and he was finna call uh Hugh Jackson the name and he just stuck to calling him a clown. Now I'm not gonna call him a clown. You know, um Shannon probably knows Hugh uh, well he definitely knows Hugh Jackson better than I do, you know, whether whether they talk or not or anything, but they they operate 
in uh, 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 in the same, you know, industry. So I, I think he has, you know, a, a, a good idea, maybe, you know, somewhat of, of, of about Hugh Jackson. But here's what I'm going to say. Um, Big L, get in there. Rough Buff is killing you. Uh, the thing that probably stuck out to me most, you know, in, in his comments was he said, the national anthem means a lot to myself personally, you know, and and then he said the organization and our football team. And I don't think, you know, a lot of people, how can I say, I don't, I don't, I don't think a lot of people is just saying that it doesn't mean a lot or anything like that. Here's what I think. When you say personally, when you when you say to me personally, to me you you've made this about yourself, you know. Um, the national anthem isn't just for you personally, you know. Every everyone that's on that team has a right to do or protest, you know, whatever, you know, because if they all said. Well, you know what? We're all going to, you know, stand in unity and, and, and say, you know, uh, the national anthem, this, the national anthem, that, you know, and all that stuff. Those are personal decisions that they made, you know, but I wouldn't if someone didn't want to do it. I'm not going to say, well. They have to do it. And to me, that's what I took from it. I took it that, you know, he was saying. I got a problem with it. I don't want any problems here also that I got to deal with. But Hugh, this is, this is life. And and, and here's the other thing that I don't, that I don't understand about the whole national anthem is that people have chimed in. And and if anyone that knows me, I've never, you know, place harsh judgment on someone i i for the most part i respect you know a lot of stuff that people say even if people don't agree with it i respect what they say but we've made this whole thing and people have made this whole big deal about standing for the national anthem people have brought up and said well uh have you read you know what the national anthem is you know and i don't even know that you know that it, it went in deeper and it was actually a longer song than what you know, what it actually is at the games. Did not know that. So, but people want to cast a a certain, you know, uh, type of person someone is because maybe they do something that they don't agree with. I've been to plenty football games, basketball games, baseball games. I haven't been to a hockey game, soccer game, and they have the national anthem and everybody's not standing. Do you address, I mean, do we address the other people? We don't, I don't know why they're not standing. You know, Vince, I see your comment. We'll get into that later about Atlanta. Um, I, I, it could be for whatever reason. It could be religious. It could be just like Kaepernick is doing about, you know, injustices. Could be something else. I don't know. But to go and make a comment, I think, like that for Hugh, it, it doesn't put him in a good light, you know. And, and let's be honest, he's not hes not going to, you know, be put in a good light being a brother, too. You know, uh, Brian Hill, shouts out to Brian Hill, who's, who's in here as well. He said, Hugh should have said nothing. Now, Brian, I wouldn't say Hugh should have said nothing. I, I think what he should have, you know, said more than anything is that, Personally, hey, I would like for everyone to stand up, you know, but I understand this is what this country is about. You get the opportunity to, you know, voice your displeasures about stuff. It's your freedom. I respect it. So if they do it, I respect it. You know, Jack Del Rio, you didn't see Jack Del Rio, you know, saying, uh, you know, Marshawn shouldn't be sitting down. I, I hope no one on his team will be doing that. 
Roger Goodell, you know, made a, you know, a, a point to, you know, to say, you know, they 